Hey, Marty here. Welcome to the Sublime to the Ridiculous video blog edition. I had a short business trip today down to Springfield, Ohio and back. Uh, went down to Electric Eel, the company I sell for to pick up a load of stock. Electric Eel, for all your drain and sewer cleaning needs. Um, anyway, um, I tell myself all the time I'm not going to leave as early as I do because I find myself leaving early and then I'm sitting down there and waiting and then I got to wait to see people and all that. I think I came by it honestly because um, uh, me pops and me grandpa Joe were both kind of antsy about getting going when they had road trips. Um, and I find myself doing the same thing. Like this morning I wasn't going to leave until 3 o'clock. No, 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 was not going to leave till 3 o'clock. And I was sitting in bed wide awake at 1.45, and I thought, ah, hell, I'm just going to go. So I did. But it worked out in a way, too. I not only picked up the product that I needed, cables and cutters and stuff, a couple of machines, uh, it gave me a chance to stop at my current barber in uh, Kenton, Ohio. Uh, Louie, shout out to Louie. Uh, he did a great job. i um, not going to show you the job because I wear hats on my vlog. Uh, but trust me, Louis is a great barber, and he did, did a good job. And I mentioned to him, you know, as, as we were talking, and I was sitting in the barber chair, well, I'm glad, you know, I was glad I was able to make it by. I was way overdue for my haircut, and I'm glad I found you here in Kenton, because I'm right up and down the road all the time here. Stop and see. He says, well, got news for you, Marty. He says, I'm retiring November 28th. I'm done. And I thought, oh, wow. Well, Sorry to hear that. Uh, good luck in your retirement. He'd been doing it 52 years cutting hair. And, um, good luck on your retirement. But now it's like, i got to find another barber. Louis makes the seventh barber I've lost in the last seven years. I'm averaging a barber a year. Um, and, and, I, and I don't know what the problem is. I mean, um, you know, I, I, I feel like I'm a good customer. I, I pay the price and... Uh, I tip 20%. Um, you know, I'm I'm good at small talk. Uh, hey, uh, really warm weather for this time of year. Yeah, 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 really warm. Yeah, 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 yeah. How, how about them Tigers? Yeah, how about them Tigers? And oh, I see Max started playing football again. I'm good at small talk. I mean, I, I, I don't think that's the problem there, but still. Seven barbers in seven years. Uh, two of them, I just went to their shops on Saturday mornings, and they were gone. Uh, Louis, of course, is retiring, and God bless him. I do hope, uh, wish him the best in his retirement. Um, one of them died, and it's like, wow, geez, if um, whether or not to cut my hair was a matter of life or death, I mean... I wouldn't have asked him to cut my hair. I mean, it's, you know... Uh, I like my hair to look good, but it shouldn't uh, cost someone his life, right? I, I, I hope that wasn't the case. Uh, you know, I, I'm sure most of them just retired. Uh, and, you know, that that's what happens. But I just kind of feel like, is it me? Now, Louie was kind enough to recommend another barber. He says, another old-timer like me. He didn't say old-timer. He said old something else, which I'm not going to say right now. Um... But he recommended another old timer right there in Kenton, Ohio. And Kenton's right between Detroit and Springfield. Um, so I might give the guy a try, but uh, geez, I, I don't want to jinx him or I don't want to make him feel like he's got to retire just because Marty's going to come by to get his hair cut. So I don't know. That's my tale of woe. Seven barbers in seven years. Probably going to be eight barbers in eight years in about another 365 days. We'll see. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like, please subscribe, please comment, please share if you feel the mood. In the meantime, this is Marty going from the sublime to the ridiculous. I mean, at least it's got to be a record of some type, right? Seven barbers in seven years.